I know uh, Mercedes had a um, question before it was a few weeks ago about um, commands because I mentioned that um, that they started immersion again for a, for a summer thing. And uh, the first week, first two weeks was, um, I don't know, preschool, you know, really young kids. Now they're first graders, first and second graders are in there right now. They're in their second week now. I think they'll be finished up this week, this Friday. But um, went over some Uh, simple, like simple commands, simple things, things that we all grew up with. Well, not let's say myself, when I, we, not all of us, but things that I remember growing up with as far as commands go that you, know, we, you can use at home to you know, teach your children. Now, Dachshik, the main one, Dachshik, the start of the beginning of the day. Coming from the word dachshi, to wake up. So dachshi. Be one word, first word, dachshi. Um, <laughs> as that one that right after Duck Shake, I remember hearing growing up our grandma Shmatak Shmatak as a wash your face Shmatak get up wash your face Oh, things that we have, uh, haven't done in a while. I haven't done in a while, actually. Just kind of lose track of it. Annie, wish them what? Mishnah Shwa. Hamish, Hamish, wish them what? Mishnah Shwa. Inchi, Inchi, Mich. I can't remember how to say it a little bit. Um, I think I asked Fred that just last week. Let me see what he had said. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I, I ask you. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, he was saying you could use moosh. Have you heard moosh used in a context like this? Oh, um, yeah. Kind of, sort of. Moosh. Same. Moose, moose, nashua, shalawi. It's a little bit sleepy. Moose. Moose, nash. Moose, nashua, shalawi. So, yeah, cool, nash. Shalawi. Why am I why am I tired? And, and why for am I tired? <laughs> what was that one? We are cool. And the two yao. Why? Why for? We are cool, Shalawi. Why am I tired? 
Why four am I tired? But Shmatak, sorry, good now, good now, good now thing about there about going to just basic things like, oh yeah, John, we should have So we have Takshik, Shmatak. Um, Kotak, I eat. eat. I know I mentioned this before. I mean, we we'll come back when we were doing this at one time. But this was a very common word that my younger brother was told on a regular basis. What I mean by regular basis, every meal it was always told. Kotak. Kotak au chu kotak. My younger brother, uh, William Smurf, always had something to say. It was jabber jaws, constant jabber jaws. You just eat, uh, talk, 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 talk. Every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, even a snack. He said they just won't shut up. Grandma, grandma I was always telling him, shut up and eat. Just eat. Kotak. But yeah, so that word was very, was very common hearing, uh, mainly for him. Hear yeah, yeah, we would get it every now and then, but he was the main one. What the? Main one to, to get that word said to him over and over and over every day. What if he just didn't want to eat one thing? Like he didn't want to eat his salmon. Oh no! It wasn't that he didn't want to eat. You just he just always had something to say. It was always just he just full of stories. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that he was still the, like on the on the food. He was just always had always had something to talk about. Random stuff, you know. You know talking about a cartoon he watched and how he would. Uh, he would do the cartoon character different or uh, uh, whatever happened at school, whatever happened somewhere. Uh, just eat. I don't wanna, we don't want to know. Well, that's the same problem. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was him in the younger, younger days. Quantum. Um, but still, though, what if you did need to tell a kid, you know, eat your veggies, eat your huckleberries? Same thing, what the? But like, um, what, whatever, whatever food it was. What the will know? What the no so? I didn't want be, be, be specific on tell them what food they're going to eat. What the knit? Eat your roots. What the, um, no, no, knit, you know, you're being, you're being pretty you know, wide open. You have to, if they have like, Three or four roots on their on their plate. They haven't even touched it. That's where you're gonna tell them to eat them all. But if um, you know they only had like one on there, then like, let's say they have house on there. What the house? Eat your eat your house. No, but if there's not bunch of them, what the snake? Eat, eat your roots. I win that same thing. I'll be using all those. All those terms, those main terms, like kanash, awinat, khnit, and tmanit. And that just refers to all the all those um food, that food, those food categories. Like kanash, not only meaning salmon, but we're referring to all the water life that we take from the water. All the food that from the water. Uh, awinat, all the game, um, um, deer, elk. Antelope, buffalo, moose, rabbits, ducks, geese. Connect all the roots, all the roots, all the way all the way down. No. The main ones, Pachi, Luke, Shkaush, Mamen, Anibash, Manit, Tmish, Wilnu, Suspan, Cha, Matip. 
So yeah, all goes all goes underneath there that um put that. You know, be be specific on you know, what what food item you want them to just eat. Yeah, it's um, we never. Uh, I don't think I ever we've ever come across anything that we didn't eat that we I, I actually left on the plate and we said I dished out something else. No, um, we were either eaten or starved. So you know, we didn't want to starve, so we ate everything on our plate. Myself, I was I actually wanted to get all eat all the ugly stuff first and save the best for last. So I I didn't like Brussels sprouts. So I'd eat those, get those out of the way, eat them fast. I think I almost choked on a couple of them a couple of times. Just trying to eat them fast. But yeah, all those just find out different ways to um, to use them, to find the names. Put the put the Brussels sprouts. When you think about what 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 how where, where would it fit in our in our um on our food on our food chart what name would it fall under so like lettuce Brussels sprouts broccoli cauliflower where would it fall under you know, just to no just that just to think about what what category would it be under knit we be under to mine it. I don't know. It's is always roots. It's always roots, but it be, but the Brussels sprouts, the uh, lettuce and all that, it grows on top. So maybe a to it, maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. It's, like, it's something that we just, I always always ponder about. When we're talking about food. <clears throat> Oh Yeah, it's always one. That's always the main one. Quatak. Especially with little kids. Especially with little kids. They always got these rambling little stories. Even if even if you can't understand, a lot of times you hear that you get about these one-year-olds, two-year-olds that barely can talk and they're, they're making noise. And they're sitting there rock, rock it all. Uh-huh. Eat. <laughs> Quatak. Um Like that. Ethan. That's a clean up. Ethan. No, it's also that's the um no, it's still you can um add words to it. Optional. No, what what is it you want them to clean up? You know, you want them to clean up the house, I mean, like the whole house. Ich neat. Or ich amchni ba. Amchni is outside. You know, like cleaning up the yard, cleaning up around the house. Amchni ba. On the outside. Amchni. Ich knushnu. Yeah, clean your nose. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. But then you got all those you know, wild kids that grabbed their arm and clean their wipe. You got all these snot stain run, snot runs up and up and on their forearms. <laughs> but they cleaned it. They cleaned it. Can't complain. Yeah. Achash. Even fish, that's where you get back to shmatak. Wash up, wash your face. Shmatak. But this is more um, geared for like actually cleaning up a, cleaning up an area. Like even smas, smas is a bed. So it's like clean up, clean up your bed, fix your bed, make your bed. Even smas, clean your bed. Even, um, I don't even know how to say bedroom. 
smart spama. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think that's one word. That's one word to use for um, bedroom smart spama. Ichen tikai, no clean the clean the dishes. Maybe like wash dishes. Ichen tikai. Ichen is a clean, it's like just a clean up, straighten up. Ichen, like about all, like they got all their toys or things laying around, or their crayons, their coloring books, their doodle pads, or whatever, whatever it is that they have that's out and about laying around. They're not even playing with, not even using. But Ichen, clean it up, straighten it up. Ichen out. Out was always a was always one that was used too a lot with it. Au dachshik au, shmatak au, kwatak au, ichink au, au is that they, they wanted it done now. Au dachshik au, wake up now. Shmatak au, go wash up now. You know, dirty face. Kwatak au, eat now. That's where the all of this is behind it. All of this is behind it. It's going through the motions and saying, "Cut that out." You know, the harsher it sounds, the more the more um, the translation changes. He's like, "Cut that out." You know, it'd be nice. But I don't know. Just eat now. You're being all mean and harsh like that. Cut that out. It's almost like, "Shut up and eat." You know, it's how emphasis emphasis on on the word. Cut that out. Eat it out. Eat it kai. Cut that. Um, no kut, actually, no kut, actually, meat, actually, the good one, meat, no kut, what the, no kut, eat your meat. Ethan, clean up. Um, Yeah, I joke around with this word. So no, that's one that's one word I don't like hearing. I never like hearing. Ausleitig. Ausleitig. Line up. <laughs> you no, know, no, I don't know. That's not me. I'm, not, I'm out of here. I'm not hearing that word. But if you have a group of kids that you're that you're working with. And that's what the you know, one of the line up. That's what we do. Also like it. Line up in a straight line. Also like it. Line up. Line up. Also like it. Um. Let's see what else? What other ones be used growing up? Too thick, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Sit down. I think out. Sit down now. I think. Tutik. It was it was funny. We used to we used to give our grandmas a hard time at services. They tell us to sit down. I check. Then they get ready to start. He said, Tutik, you just told us to sit down. Now you want to stand up? <laughs> Tutik, stand up. Mm 
and I, I want, I, and that it's, uh, these are, these are good, actually simple terms to use at home. Well, you know, you hear at different services, different, different, um, you know, different homes, different longhouses, you hear, hear different words for it, or stand up. Auch which, um, I don't know, I don't know, even that word, auch it's not like you're telling someone to sit down, but actually telling them to stand up. Eat the night is to kneel. To kneel down on your knees. Eat the night. Then tama night is to sit down. We tell the whole, we tell the whole group to, to sit down. To sit down now. Tama night. So, Those are other terms that you hear that during service time. So, so, um, Come on, night. So the city, these are terms that you hear at the during longhouse time. Auch night is to stand up. Eat the night is to kneel. Ma night is to um, sit down. And to break the breakdown of these words, I have no idea. I was going to ask about that, Damien. So these ones all end in T rather than K or NK. Yeah. Is it maybe because they're addressed to multiple people, or do you think this might be a dialectal thing? Since it you might, it, mm -hmm. it might be, but it's just it's just how I've heard it. Mm -hmm. How I've heard a past speaker. So, um, I, I um. I, it could it could be the whole. Um, the, the whole concept changes from you're telling someone to do something, but then, then I, I'm pretty much like you're describing what's going on, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, so these aren't like the commands where you put ta on yeah. them, are they? Where it's like you okay, will you do can, this, you can actually. You can, um, add to an alchen alchenite. Okay. I think the way I'm writing it here, it, it could be a could be a change. It's some other ones I'm writing out that they'll actually put the barred I between the hat check C and N. But that's just myself. That's how it sounds to me. Chink. Auch ein Eichink. Eat the Eichink. Because when we're I just wanna, um, um, just telling her like how we're going to kneel down in the service. I want to eat the Eichiki. We'll be, we'll be kneeling. We'll be kneeling at the beginning. We, what, what we, what, what we now, we're not the Kainite. Eat the Nijiki. We'll be kneeling for the big for the when we start when we go forward in the service. Eat the Nijiki. But yeah, the, the I've always heard it with the, with that T at the at the end. But I you know maybe it just got lost later um, in the past years. Auch 
And that's the way I, that's just the way I've heard it. It's the way I've always said it without question, given that you know, the past leaders have said have said the same the same um, word. So I just followed followed by followed their words, their sayings, figuring thinking that I, I wouldn't want to change anything else. If I try to change it, they're like, that's not the right word. You want to catch any, any flag just yet. But if we're gonna make it correct, I think these, I think in this form would be the correct um Stand up, eat the nightchik, kneel down. Ma nightchik, sit down. You tell, you tell everybody, sit down. <clears throat> but these these but these terms here though, I've, I've, I've mainly heard in the longhouse setting. No, just going off of eating off of Aichin and Putik. Damien, that leads into another question I had. Can you use these with just one person or, I mean, can you use them with multiple people or are they just when you're addressing one person? If I said. Um, I don't know. Well, these ones, I'm, I mean, you can, they're more, I would say they're more, um, more personal. Like in a classroom setting, you're teaching in a, at home or in a classroom. Well, I don't know. Or it could be, um, you know, just, um, special terms for, Different occasions. I don't know, but yeah, when we're when we were told this, we're all 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 those brothers and sisters and cousins were all told one word. You know, I just okay. good thing. So if we, once if once this word was said, then that that's we go back to that. Al Khanaich, Al We're still sitting there laughing around, joking around. That's where our grandmas would. Uh, Get after us. Tutik. He said Alchanai. He did not say Tutik. He said Alchanai too. It's smarty to get our it's smarty with our, our, our grandmas. And that's where the whippings will come in later on. So yeah, we knew we were to get whippings, so we might make the best of it. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I would that was just that just crossed my mind when I was um when we we're going over these ones, sit down, stand up, I chink, good dick. So, so far, we've this, um, we've gone dachshik, schmatak, kwatak, ichink, ausalaitik, I chink, good dick. Um, I don't know why, what what other what other ones. Oh, uh, when I can win them. <laughs> Winak is go away. Winak is go away. Now that's that's the difference between. Um, these these terms, this K, this move, moves away from you. If you use the M, you're bringing it back. Winnam is a is a good example, good a good example of how that works. Winnam come to go away. Winnam come to come here. Come back to you, Winnam, Winnam. So these commands are directed out towards that person. Dakshik, you're telling someone to wake up. Shmatak. It doesn't, you know, it, it, the, the whole translation tree really changed. Sounds funny. You're telling someone, if you say someone, Dakshim, wake me up. 
is this what time? Uh, what time? Would be, uh, like, why, wash my face. <laughs> yeah, so it just, the, tra the translation gets a little bit more detailed when you add the M to it. You gotta be very careful how you, how you add these words, these endings, which is uh, not, we didn't really, Windham was probably the only one that we've, that we've used that used the M, Windham. Other than that, everything was K. Winak, it would always go away. Putik, stand up. Um, um, oh. This is one. Yeah, that's one that we... Never go to the park. If they say they want to get out, go out, they want to go somewhere and play, you, go, you get there, get to the park, and all they do is just sit there. It's just sit there. And like, well, you wanted to go, we wanted someplace to go play. And now you're at the park, go play. Skewick. Let's play. Go play. Skewick. 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 Go play. Sinwick. Sinwick is someone tell, tell us someone to talk, speak. Put that in there because it, it goes back to our upbringing when we were um, growing up. Um, Sunday services were uh, regular. We'd go there, either we'd be up at Billyville, Rock Creek, Salilo, Lyle. And there would say every Sunday, but probably about every other Sunday at least that we'd um, have to get up and speak in front of everybody, learn to talk, talk, talk publicly. And it would it have to be a long speech. You just say what you learned. Maybe you learned a new song. Maybe you learned something at school. Made a new friend, maybe. But just tell something about yourself. Uh, you know, Sinwi Shash, Wani Shash, Ella Kalat. And I learned how to do math, a, a new a new math at, at school. And that's it. Or I we learned a new learned a new, uh, learned a new song in uh, in chorus today. And, and sometimes the elders would have fun as a well. What song is it? Sing it. Sing it. Now I'm gonna sing. But that yeah, that was part of the whole thing. It, it, and you'd run into, you get, you get these, you know, you have cousins that were very bashful and they just get, you know, stage fright, they'd cry. And we, no one could speak for them. They had to sit there and wait and wait till they um, spoke. And that's where, sin wake out. You're just crying. You're crying around. You were, you were laughing and playing earlier. Now you're crying and you have to tell, talk about yourself. But yeah, sin wake was, was one, sin wake. Um, I, I shall put that one in. Well, Daikun, sing. Well, Daikun, sing. And that goes for a lot. It's a memory that all of us had. <clears throat> all of us boys learning how to sing on the on the drumline in services. No, well, Titan, sing. So, Sinuik, well, Titan, Skiwik, Winak, 
I think, I think, I think is listen. We got less than a minute, so come on here for another few more minutes. But you know, I think is listen. I think I'll listen now. I think. Word could be, I'm not sure, maybe an N or just a K. Uh, Thank you, Zoom, again for the update. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, uh, put it back was um, um, or something like that, like because you know, kids always getting into stuff. Yeah, there, there's there's a there's a word for that. We, we were uh, leave it alone, uh, put it back. Um, what is that one? But uh, before we cut off, it was Akinuk, right? Akinuk was uh, telling someone, "Look, look, like you're like you're showing like you're showing something." Uh, like Akinuk, Akinuk. That's fine. Okay, fine. Akinuk. Right, right. Or you're, you're pointing out Akinuk. You're, trying, you're showing someone. If you're telling someone, look over there. Like Akinuk, Yamash. Oh, there's look, there's deer. But uh, put it put it back with um. Put it away, put it away, put it away, put it away. What is that word? Yeah, that's right. Sure. I think it changes too with uh, different people. Niching. Like, um, niching. Niching. Put, put, no, put the blanket away. Um, niching. Um, Timash. No, put the papers away. Niching. Put it away. Niching out. Put it away now. Nitchink. Um, <laughs> get, get out of there. <laughs> Nitchink Timusia. Yeah, to do what? Nitchink Timusia. Now put your cell phone away. Yeah, that's one. That's that's what I'm going to be. Um, it'll be um, using a lot. I can't believe school starting next week for us, Nikawi. Oh my God! Not even. I don't even know. I don't even know what um, how this is going to work out. Actually, I'm, I don't know if our students are going to be able to come out across here, or we still got to go over there. I have no idea. When's the first day of classes next week? Monday. Oh. 
I ask because we're still supposed to have that professional development training thing for the language program. Yep. And um, I'm very yeah, I gotta, I, actually, I got a, I got a sub for it too. So I'm going to go walk through the steps of, of that. Kind of weird though. It's like, this will be like my first time not being with my students the first week, first day of school. Mm -hmm. weird. This is one. I, it's, um, I, I would say it's, it, it's, a, it's a D, but it may it might be spelled out as a T. But this is something that we've, um, you know, it's. It's used for actually small kids, but we have, we've used it, we've heard it. Um, but it sounds like a D. Pladwa. Pladwa. It's like, it's almost like Winak. It can be used for get out of there. Pladwa. But to like get out to actually like tell someone get out of there. Right. Um, what is that? <laughs> that's where that's when all the sounds come in. Ah, <laughs> la 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 is another one you can use for depending depending on your on your on your age. Like to like. Two, three, four, five, five being the, right there, about four would be the oldest you probably use it on. La la. La la. Maybe, uh, maybe like this. Model symbol now. La la. Leave it alone. So we've gone over Dakshik, Shmatak, Kwatak, Ichak, Ausalaitik, Aichik, Dutik, Winnak, Iwik, Sinwik, Oktaikin, Aikin. Akinon, Nichink, Badwa, Lala. Wasik, Wasik. Wasik how? Wasik is keep still. Wasik. Wasik.
Well, there's two ways of saying this, this next word. Actually, you can be polite about it. You can be polite. Or, you know, there's just are two, two variants of the word for quiet. Chukin. Chukin. You know, tell someone, you know, quiet. Chukin. Or you can say, chu. Chuchu. I'm familiar with that term because that was one that we were told a lot. Um, when one, someone wanted to um, make a speech or something, a birthday party or, or some kind of gathering that we had, you know, all of us are sitting around laughing around, laughing, still, when someone's trying to talk after us, chill out. Oh, I didn't realize because you know, sometimes you don't realize that some, some speakers are really soft spoken. You can't tell if they're really talking to everybody else. That's where that. Chu, oh, okay, right. But these are both terms for uh, quiet. You can um, you can use them both. It's all about how you use it. You, know, you, can, you can be mean with saying chukin, how? Oh, you got one of those students that just, or one of those kids that just won't be quiet. Just yap, 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 yap. So Smurf was always here and told this one, Chu Ow, what the cow? No, so all these, all these, all these words here are, are from experience, from my own experience and being um, commands that we grew up with. And this is how uh, children learn to understand to, to hear people speak. All these things always you know, told what to do with no questions asked. There was no why. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. You know? Just get up. <clears throat> yeah, if we if we ask the question why, then um, we get pulled out of bed. And so there was no questions. So just get up. There was no, there was always, there was never questions about it. Just do it. But yeah, it, it started out nice. Then it got and five minutes went by and getting on getting on the nerves. It's harder and harder and harder. Dakshik out and get meaner and meaner. So, yeah. Damien, I'm curious, have you ever heard a word ashim? Not for wife, but for to come in. Ashink. It would be ink. Ashink. 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 Yes, because that's it's like, not, it's, mm -hmm. actually, it's, a, it's not, um, yeah, Ashum. You know, you're telling some of the men. Ashum. Ashum is a, is a wife. Ashum. That's where the difference in sound is. Ashum is a wife. Ashum. 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 The, the barred eye, um, mm, ashim, is that telling someone to come in, ashim. But if we tell someone, ashim, now go inside. Okay. Sorry, to tell someone to go 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 inside, ashim. And it's like what we saw before with Winnock and Winnum. Ashim is like go inside. Yeah, it's the not go, where go, I am. Yeah, you're telling someone to go inside. Well, 
If you're already inside, it's really like, come in, come in. If you're at the door and you're, you're people are out, out you know, you're greeting people at the door, come in, come in, come in. Come in. Damien, I was wondering about that. It's the dictionary doesn't give many examples of that M either. Yeah, it's 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 one of those. Yeah, using the M and the K. You no, know, it's all all of that. Because you because it it with some of them it because um, uh, it's you no know, like come here. This one you can use on that one. It makes sense. Sinwim, that tell me. Sinwim, telling someone. Tell me. Sinwim. Ashum, come in. Ashum, go inside. Um. Actually. Yeah. Ash. My Nina, I want to uh, drink water. Oh, thank you. drink. Take a drink. Chunk or chook. Chunk. Actually, the NK, yeah, NK. Chunk. So you say chook, you that, that's, you're saying something totally, totally different. <laughs> you want to say that chook. You put the, say chook. Chook, you're saying someone is like really gross smelling. Chook, you are. <laughs> That's really nasty. Chunk Yosha, nasty smelling. But chunk or chu. Chu is the drink, like chush. Aun aun a chusha. Now we're drinking. Aun a chusha chut. Now we're drinking, you know, whatever drink it is, you know, sodas, juice. Whatever. Chunk is that no? You're talking about drink up. Drink it. Mm -hmm. That's where you get, you get just like here, what duck and you can you can add in what it is you want them to drink. You can be specific on it. Um I was looking at that other word. So. Hmm. Oh, way off, way off, way off. <clears throat> I don't know some of these things are really I'm trying to get an idea how some of these words um like the dictionary has a lot of has a lot of info in it, but there's still some yet that's not that's actually left left out. That, um... Can you add the stress marks on them? Or is two words so I can remember exactly for each one? I think there'll be a lot of them be there. Dakshi. Actually, right there. Shmata. Even also like I think 
Tutik. Bila? Kiwi. Semu. Semu. Taiki. 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 Chun. Lala. Usir. Chukini. Chu. Ashi. What the? I think I got them all. Is it Skewik or Skewik? So I thought I had heard. Okay, sweet. I know, so I'm looking at my list here. Like, hmm. What the? Skerit. <laughs> Lala, Wasir, Chukin, Chu, and uh, Ashen. And if um, you got them into a drawing time, Timak is to write or draw. Timak. Timak. <clears throat> you go the same lines of that one, you want the color. I think you guys can see all that. No? Slide this one a little bit. Chalutimak. Chalutimak. Chalutima is um, some of the color. Uh, they got their coloring books, they got their color, color crayons. Chalutima. What is it? I think the stress is over here. Chalutima. Chalu. Chalutima. Chalutima. It sounds like that's where it is when you were saying it. Chalutimak. Ooh. So that's to some of the color. Chalutimak. Since we're dealing with kids, what if you want to tell them to read? Ititamak? Yeah. Actually, that's 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 
that's the one that I um I would I myself um I think the E is actually should be left out on that one. That's right. I remember that. Dhamma. The Dhamma would be the read. Study. Because the E would imply the um, the he, she, or it. Iti tamasha. He's counting. But that, that's 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 still one. I'm actually um, we're debating actually still still wondering if that if that if the E should be left under to 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 um. Use that ititama, or should be so if we're use it in the third person, e I don't know. But titamak, this is just my opinion. It makes it makes more sense to use it in that form. Titamak, <clears throat> you tell someone to read, tell someone to study. Um Some else. About some other things to go along with Walt Taking. Like Washak. Oh, yeah. Washak. That's where you got to be very careful on using that word. Make sure you have that ah in there. Uh, Washak. But if you're say this, washak, that's uh, something to ride. Washak and washak. Washak is dance. Washak out, no dance. And washak, no ride. So washak is dance, washak. Washak is ride, you tell someone to ride a horse, a bike. <laughs> um, to go with this one right here, the Ushin. I think. I think. I think. It's the opposite of ashink. You tell someone, go outside. Atink. Or you can, um, 
or you're telling someone to throw it out, Officer Two. I think. To throw it out isn't like throw it away or like literally to get it outside. To go, go, go out. Right. I think, no. Go outside. I think, go out. It's actually, if you tell someone, no, no. I think, oh. You're telling someone to go outside, to go out. I think. where you combine like this one. I think, cool Eric, go out and play. I mean, these are, these are just um, good start off point for your for um, commands to um, to use. Hopefully, this was helpful. That there, if there was any more, yeah, definitely. Thank you. A lot, some of them are pretty similar to how what I remember, but I just kind of need a little refresher course. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, nothing wrong with going back to review some of these words. You see, some of them don't even have the K on there to tell someone to tell someone to do this. You know, the C, Chu. <clears throat> The see it is some of it's still chew. I don't know. That's my interpretation of chukin and chuchu is that two different things are quiet. Chukin is like more of a you tell someone, you know, quiet, quiet, chu with it, especially if you get really deep into it, you tell so much shut up. I think you answered this before because you said you would use chuchu with a I think high schooler, but I was wondering if any of those, like Lala, might be sort of baby words. Yeah, Maybe they're more what... younger. Yeah, oh, they're okay. Latwa and um, Lala were mainly um, geared for younger children, preschool age, daycare, daycare, preschool. These two words here, Latwa and uh, Lala, mainly, mainly used for them. But um, you no, know, jokingly, even even as we grow up, we still use these terms with this, this um, you know, with family members, um, still with friends that understand. Still, I'll, I'll use it with my brothers and sisters still. And la la, even alone. Well, I'll joke around even to even this one like. Like someone that we that we find annoying, he's like, ah, Sadwa, get out of here. So again, real quick, we'll go through these real quick. Dakshik, Shmatak, Patak, Ichank, Ausalaitik, Aichank, Tutik. Winnak, Skiwik, Sinwik, Wotaikan, Aikan, Akinun, Nichin, Sadwa, Chun, Lala, Wasi, Chukin, Chu, Ashink, Atink, Timak, Chalutimak, Titamak, Washak, and Washak. 
don't know if there's any any more. If um, if anything, we'll probably try to continue on this list Friday. If not Friday, it's next Wednesday. Oh wait, no, next next Wednesday is out of the question because we got that training. Damn it. So next next week there's no there's no there's no um no no class next week. That damn training. Right. Not, not Wednesday, but maybe next Friday, right? Because I think the is thing is Monday. Monday. I think it's Monday through Wednesday. Oh, okay. So, so possibly yeah. Friday. Hopefully by next Friday then. If not this Friday. We can even, yeah, we can, yeah, I forgot about this Friday. We can even continue on with make, continue on with this list. This Friday, if need, if need be. Same, same Zoom time, same Zoom channel. Friday. Kumesh, Koslanam. Hey. Um, I got been corrected on that term to use that. Koslayawa. Koshtayawa Shamash. That's um thank thank you. That's the whole um the correct term for it to use a thank you. Koshtayawa Shamash. Which would uh, really would translate to uh, thanks to you. Koshtayawa Shamash. Um, even, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been corrected because uh, before I was just using Kwasla Shamash and it did, um, it was my fault on that one. So, yeah. I'm still learning how to say thank you. We don't really say thank you really that much. Say, say, Chi Kwasla. There's not going to be another way, so I was trying to use it this form, but I left out the awa to make it move. Kwasla Yawa Shamash, so it's thank, thanks to you. So, yeah. So Friday, if you're available there, Hamish, Hamish, we'll be back here again Friday, 11 o'clock. And we can uh, continue on with this, with this list if I add more to it. Maybe. So if that it, but this is a good starting point. It's a good um, place to get started to um, use on use on children as we go forward. Any more questions there? Any more questions? Hey, Kumesh, Akhay Matash Kinuta. Hey, hey, Akhay Mash Kinuta. E au, e au.